What's up, everybody? It's all real here, and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 Fan Day for Friday, April 25th, and uh, Fan Day is well underway, and well, well underway, I should say. And uh, let me just move these videos to a different spot. These are, uh, are going to get uploaded later, and uh. We're just going to kick this thing right off. Now, this is starting at a special start time. Normally, I would start at uh, 4 p.m. going into 7. However, it is 6 right now. And I just fell behind time. But like I said, I was not going to miss Fan Day this week. I was absolutely not missing it this week. So, this week, we're going to go from 6 to 10 o'clock at night. Like We're going that late. And I got a lot of new stuff I want to try out, a lot of new things I want to show you guys. Um, you know, in the videos earlier this week that I posted on this channel, I said, you know, it, it was going to start at a special start time. I didn't know when. I wanted it to be this, I wanted it to be that, but I didn't know exactly when. Because, as you know, I am in the middle of moving. And, you know, things are kind of hectic in between that and school and everything else going on. I just didn't know when I was going to have time, but I I wasn't going to miss it for sure. So, again, it's going from 6 to 10, and these videos will be uploaded probably around like 11 o'clock. You know, probably around like 11.30, depending on how fast they they go. With that being said, man, let's get started. And first, of, uh, I'm, I'm going to be trying out my Earthbound Immortal build. That's right, uh, a build that I didn't, ha I haven't used in years. <laughs> I went back, I kind of recreated it and uh, added some new things to it. Uh, I have some new ideas I'm working with, and um, hopefully this works. Uh, I kind of had like a theory with it, and I'm trying to run with that. So hopefully I'll be able to do something with it. Because, like the Earthbound Immortal build that I made, it runs, if I'm not mistaken, uh, like eight Earthbound Immortals. Eight of them. So, probably more than that. Not, not I think like eight or eleven Earthbound Immortals. I didn't check it last time, so I don't remember how many I had in there. But it runs quite a bit, you know, and I just need to make sure that the Earthbound Immortals that I have can uh, be consistent with the field spells that I have in here. So that's basically what I'm hoping for. Some deck synergy. First up we got Spade Rock. Spade Rock. That's right, Spade Rock. Say it three times. Three spades. All right. Let's see how well this is going to work. Oh damn, we got good, good hand already. <laughs> Fuck your life. To this day, I'm still the only only person that runs an Earthbound Immortal deck, or that I've seen at least. I'm I'm still the only person that uses the Earthbound Immortals. I never use uh, most of the Lamb of, of the Emperor. Never used any of the other any of the other typical cards besides probably besides Double Castone and Double Summon. What what? I, I gotta use an effect to kill him. I check my field spell. <laughs> yeah, my field spell stops all that. See, Mound of the Bound Creator. It prevents my level 10 monsters from being 
targeted and destroyed by card effects. So whatever little advantage they could have had, you know, of getting this card off the field, you know, congratulations. I mean, to me, like I said the whole trick with my build is making sure that you have enough field spells. So I put like six in here, probably like six or seven, because I need to absolutely make sure that you know I have something on the field. You know that's the trick with this build is to make sure that I have enough field spell support, because the Earthbound Immortals are just like the Malefics; they can't survive without a field spell. For some reason, these motherfuckers are allergic to a neutral field. <laughs> They are allergic to a neutral field. See that shit. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I hope you don't plan on activating that effect. What the good will that do? Look at my grave. A special summon. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, if it was prevents it from being target targeted. Hard to fix. Nope. He's thinking. Get your monster back, man. Hey, hey you already summon Ark. I was just saying, put your XC materials back. Yeah, we ain't doing all this, all this playback. No, 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 no. I'm standing firm, like a ripe orange. Actually, oranges don't stand. I'm just, I'm just saying. Field spell can't target me. Oh, man. 
And now that it's in defense mode, you can't act you can't conduct a battle phase. I got one earthbound wave. This is like my second nuke. No, this is like my life point regenerator. Look at the standby phase for He has no standby phase effects. Just need to maintain some good draws. As long as I can knock out like an MST or something, I'm good. Damn, sure not using that yet. Burn them life points away. I swear, boy, I am amazing when I create builds. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. I've been doing this since 2002. I am the man. Who else you know runs an Earthbound Immortal build that has that has eight to eleven Earthbound Immortals in it, and actually has it work consistently? When they came out with Mounded of, of the Bound Creator, and they confirmed that, was, that that to be an official card, my, my Earthbound Immortal build was the first thing that popped into my my head. No matter what the hell he do, he got it. Okay, I got that. Oh yeah, man, I'm just going to whittle down your shit until you get something. God didn't even think to use an MST, unless he doesn't have one. There's no way for me to search this thing out. There really isn't. Only difference between these monsters and the Malefics is that the Malefics, um, The Malefics won't let another monster attack. Whittling it down little by little. This is the, the ace strategy, obviously. Keeping him out of... Keeping out of his battle phase. He's just shuffling away. Do don't matter what you do. I'm actually hoping he does something. I don't know, man. Like maybe I should put overwhelming in here instead of earthbound wave. I'm thinking about doing that. What the hell? <laughs> He's exceed summoning with a fucking There we go. You were overlaying those two. Mm. Oh, yeah. Got flipped. It goes in attack position.
two, three. No, I mean when your set monster gets flipped up, it's flipped summon by you. By you, monster goes into face up attack position. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! 101. There is no reasoning for this. You see what I did there? Like I said, man, this fan day, I got so much new stuff to try. So much stuff I didn't try last fan day. So each duel is going to be unique and different. Or just until I get the, all, all the decks that I want to use out the way and then we might have to restart it back from the beginning so I may end up using Earthbound Immortals again but I'm trying to limit it to one different build each video so what you, what you got for me where's the cube Mm. Yeah, three or four. What good is okay? I'm, I'm, d I'm down for a gamble. Let's roll. Two. You draw one card. Set that. Going in for the kill. I'm doing it for the thrill. Oh, I'm hoping you understand. I'm gonna fuck you up. Going in for the kill, doing it for the thrill. Oh, I'm hoping you understand. Oh. Show him. Ugh. Oh, we got three. Got five. That, that would have blew it up. No, that would have destroyed one card on the field. That's probably what he was going for. Alright, moving on to the next duel. Dule, dule, dule.